at a time when the supply of pipe-borne water has become challenging in the capital Freetown. The Embassy of the United States of America in Sierra Leone has launched the Rainwater Harvesting Project for Embassy staff. Speaking at the ceremony, Patrick Kennedy, Under Secretary for Management, said Freetown was identified some five years ago by the leadership of the State Department Facilities Management as a location to pilot rainwater harvesting to be able to meet the needs of the embassy. He said the project is serving as the only one in any of the U.S. embassies overseas that is being modeled after the design of a similar project was developed by a visiting Fulbright scholar at Mokonde Primary School to save water and help communities during the dry season. As you all well know, even with bountiful rainfall, the soils, conditions and the topography in the Western Peninsula compounded by urbanization and deforestation, means that most rainwater is lost to runoff. We know that during the dry season, water can be in short supply, and we at the United States Embassy and the United States Department of State are committed to being good stewards of Sierra Leone's water resources. How does this work? Simply put, rainwater that falls from the sky is collected through the roofs that you see over your heads and the concrete surface areas you're standing on. He further said that in making the embassy self-sufficient and providing its own water to rain harvesting, over 3 million gallons a year will not be drawn by the embassy from the local water supply system, as the embassy will be supplying itself, making more water available to the people. Patrick Kennedy described the project as one of the many ways of how the United States government is working with the government of Sierra Leone to protect the environment and support coastal communities. With this launching today, the Rainwater Harvesting Project will provide water for the embassy and its staff residences throughout the year and for many years to come. Importantly, by doing this and by catching the water that is falling on our compound, we are making the embassy self-sufficient and over 3 million gallons of water a year will not be drawn by the embassy from the local water supply, in effect making 3 million more gallons of water available to the people of Freetown and its surrounding communities for their use. This project is one of the many ways that the United States government is working with Sierra Leone to protect the environment. On his part, the United States Ambassador to Sierra Leone, John Over, said through the Millennium Challenge Corporation, MCC, as part of the post-Ebola recovery program, the United States government is providing institutional support to the Guma Valley Water Company with over 40 million United States dollars with the hope to improve on water supply in Freetown. But what we are doing to support um, reliable, affordable water supply in Sierra Leone is going to be through our Millennium Challenge Corporation program, which was signed in November of last year. It's $44.4 million over four years, and it will support uh, building of institutional capacity uh, in the water and power sectors. And it's tied in very closely to the government's post Ebola 10 to 24 month recovery program. The project, which took five years to complete, is estimated at 13 million United States dollars. With the current acute water crisis in the country and with the starting of the rains, the rain harvesting project may be a model that can be replicated in other institutions or communities by the authorities in addressing the water problem. Amadou Lamranaba, reporting for Star TV.